Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I wanted to debunk a claim or a theory that was put on by Unbox Therapy, where he released a video talking about the Galaxy S10 fingerprint trick. Now the trick that he was talking about was actually re-registering the exact same fingerprint, either on the finger or thumb, to make it go a little bit more accurate or a little bit more fast. Uh, but in this video today, I'm gonna show you that it will actually unlock the exact same speed. It all really depends on the pressure of when you're actually pressing down with that fingerprint. And then right after that, I'll actually talk to you and show you a real fingerprint trick on the Galaxy S10. So first off right now, you can see that I'm unlocking my phone. I'm basically giving it a little tap. Also in his video, he's talking about how some people were pressing and holding and keeping the thumb on the screen, and you really don't have to do that. But the other thing is that you don't want to do a really fast tap, something where it doesn't really register it. Um, what I'm actually doing here, that it is a really fast tap, but I'm actually pressing down on the screen just a smidge harder than normal. Now let's go through and let's talk about and play with adding more fingerprints to see if it in fact actually goes faster. So you can see here that I have two fingerprints that are registered. I'm gonna place in my pin. And in here you can see that I have one set up for the right and as well as the left thumb. So I'm just gonna go through here and I'm gonna add in another right thumb to see if it goes any other faster. So really when you go through, I pretty much go through and set it up where I rotate the phone. You never really know what angle you'll be using your phone. Um, but then the rest and the majority is that you do want to hold on to your phone um, the exact same way that you would use when you unlock it. Now make sure that you move your thumb a little bit around where that little scanning area is um, just so it'll pick up more scans. But really what's happening is this phone is, is scanning and saving 16 scans of your thumb once you put in your fingerprint. So what's happening now is that there is 16 scans there, 16 and 16. So that means that there is 32 of them that is set up for my right thumb, 16 for the left, which is 48 scans in total. So I'm gonna place this one as right. Now, one thing I do wanna let you know and keep in the back of your head is every single time that you scan your fingerprint or your thumb, this thing is saving each and every one of those. So when it goes through to unlock your device, it is actually going through all of the scans just to find one that works. So then this way you'd be able to unlock your phone. So now we've placed in a additional fingerprint for the right side. Now, if I press here, is it any faster than the left side where there's only one fingerprint um, basically the profile that is set up. Now on this next portion, I'm gonna show you the real trick of putting in a fingerprint for the Galaxy S10. So for me, I don't really see any difference if there was two thumbprints saved or three versus one. It's all the exact same. You just wanna make sure that when you go in there, it is a pressure, um, little sensitive scanner inside of there for the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. So you do want to um, press a little bit harder. The other nice thing about this ultrasonic fingerprint scanner is that it will work when the screen is off. Now on the OnePlus 6T, it will not work when the screen is off because it is optical. So on the OnePlus 6T, you actually have to turn on the screen before you can even read a thumbprint. So we went through, I didn't really see any changes in speed with going from the right thumb to the left thumb. So now let's actually talk about the real trick for setting up your fingerprint on the Galaxy S10. So as we talked about from before, if you think about the thumbprints or fingerprints as a profile, then maybe you can think of it as maybe, um, maybe a finger for your, you yourself, one for a spouse or a family member. So I'm gonna go inside of here and I'm gonna show you what you can do. Now, as I just mentioned, don't think of it as a right thumb, left thumb, index finger, anything like that. Think of it as maybe Jimmy and Jason and John or however it's gonna be. So actually, because there is 16 scans that goes with each profile, why don't you scan both of your thumbs for one person? So I'm gonna add in a fingerprint and you can see here that it wants you to do it on the very bottom. So you can start on the bottom, then I'm gonna make my way kind of around. So I put in about four fingerprints. Now on this one, I'm also gonna put in four fingerprints. So now we're eight, nine, 10, 11. So now I'm gonna hold on to the phone as if I wanted to unlock it. Same thing here. And now as you go back and forth, um, all of these scans are going to be red so it can unlock with your left or right thumb. So now let's hit on done. You can see that there's only one fingerprint that is there. I'm gonna place in my name. So now I know that that is my profile that has 16 scans 
with eight of them on the right and eight of them on the left. So let's head back out, hit the power button again, and now it's unlocked the phone. So as you can see, um, it's the exact same speed as before. So now with eight scans that is actually set up for each thumb, you would almost think that it should go faster, but it's pretty much the exact same speed as before. So is it faster? Is it more accurate? I don't really know, um, but I do know for the fact that if you're adding multiple fingerprints of pretty much the exact same thumb, I believe it's pretty much overkill just because now the phone is going through 48 or 46 scans of a thumb to unlock a phone before it finds a match. So you might as well have it just go through 16 for one person, eight on the left and eight on the right. So I hope that this video made sense to you guys. Remember each and every single fingerprint you put in there, think of it as a profile, maybe a person, not really one individual thumbprint or fingerprint. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe on the very bottom, very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And again, Lou, I love you. I just wanted to call you out a little bit. I feel that adding multiple fingerprints is really kind of overkill. And you can actually do it with one profile with half of the scans being left, half of the scans being right, and it unlocks at the exact same speed. And I'll see you guys later.